In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, whom taught by the Holy Spirit, we dare to call our Father. Bring, we pray, to perfection in our hearts the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters, that we may merit to enter into the inheritance which you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The Lord God said to me, As for you, son of man, obey me when I speak to you. Be not rebellious like this house of rebellion, but open your mouth and eat what I shall give you. It was then I saw a hand stretched out to me, in which was a written scroll, which he unrolled before me. It was covered with writing front and back, and written on it was lamentation, wailing, and woe. He said to me, Son of man, eat what is before you. Eat this scroll. Then go speak to the house of Israel. So I opened my mouth, and he gave me the scroll to eat. Son of man, he then said to me, Feed your belly and fill your stomach with this scroll I am giving you. I ate it, and it was as sweet as honey in my mouth. He said, Son of man, go now to the house of Israel and speak my words to them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. How sweet to my taste is your promise. How sweet to my taste is your promise. In the way of your decrees I rejoice, as much as in all riches. How sweet to my taste is your promise. Yes, your decrees are my delight. 
They are my counselors. How sweet to my taste is your promise. The law of your mouth is to me more precious than thousands of gold and silver pieces. How sweet to my taste is your promise. How sweet to my palate are your promises, sweeter than honey to my mouth. How sweet to my taste is your promise. Your decrees are my inheritance forever. The joy of my heart they are. How sweet to my taste is your promise. I gasp with open mouth in my yearning for your commands. How sweet to my taste is your promise. Please stand. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The disciples approached Jesus and said, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called a child over placed it in their midst, and said, Amen, I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever becomes humble like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever receives one child such as this in my name receives me. See that you do not despise one of these little ones, for I say to you that their angels in heaven always look upon the face of my heavenly Father. What is your opinion? If a man has a hundred sheep, and one of them goes astray, will he not leave the ninety-nine in the hills and go in search of the stray? And if he finds it, amen, I say to you, he rejoices more over it than over the ninety-nine that did not stray. In just the same way, it is not the will of your heavenly Father that one of these little ones be lost. My sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good afternoon po sa inyong lahat. Let us uh, thank the Lord for gathering us once again in this uh, beautiful Tuesday afternoon as we continue our journey and we are now on the uh, 19th week in Ordinary Time Tuesday. And I'm sure that this is not the first time we heard this gospel passage where the disciples of our Lord asked him, who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And he called over a child to explain who is the greatest in the eyes of God and those deserve to be part 
of His kingdom. My dear brothers and sisters, I have heard so many times the expression, para ka namang bata. Ano po? Marami nating best naririnig ang expression na yan, para ka namang bata. You are like a child. But is it not that what Jesus is calling us in today's gospel for us to become like a little child? But before dwelling on this question, we have to clarify and define this expression. Para ka namang bata. Two words will help us understand childish and childlike. Childish is about behaving like a child even if you are already an adult. Insisting on not doing something or not listening to what parents are trying to convey to you. Being childlike describes the positive trait of a child. One who is simple, humble, easy to please, and not complicated. That is why a child is an epitome of innocence, a rare commodity in this cynical age. It is interesting that Jesus links being childlike with forgiveness. Is being childlike a requirement for forgiveness? I believe so. Forgiveness demands that one be childlike. In other words, be trustful and unsuspicious. To forgive one another means to risk everything just to be reconciled with one another. It requires trust. Forgiveness is the childlike attitude of God. And God does not look only at the past, but considers more the present, just like a child does. Thus, forgiveness is a grace from God. We are just God's instrument in spreading God's grace. My dear brothers and sisters, let us be little children and let us be God-like. For us to become great in the eyes not only of God, but in the eyes of everyone, let us struggle to be childlike. And we will be part and deserve to be God's co-heirs of His kingdom. Please stand. Let us pray to the Father to make us worthy of being His beloved children. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may become an effective instrument in the deepening of the faith of children. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That government leaders may show deep concern in securing a better tomorrow 
for all children, and that these little ones may be free from all forms of abuses. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That parents may nurture their children in good moral values and give them proper training and education. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may have childlike confidence in God the Father who cares for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may be led back to the house of the Heavenly Father. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, hear the prayers of your children who trust in you. Give us a childlike disposition, for your kingdom belongs to little children. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept the offerings of your church, for in your mercy you have given them to be offered, and by your power to transform them into the mystery of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in your goodness you created man. And when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeem him through Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, the skips we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep into the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that we, the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Friends, this is Jesus, our Savior, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to receive him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen.
Let us pray. May the communion in your sacrament that we have consumed save us, O Lord, and confirm us in the light of your truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.